Now, uh, what are some of the factors that affect regeneration versus repair? The tissue type is very important in this respect, so the type of tissue that is damaged or injured. Uh, for tissues that can regenerate, that heal by regeneration, they are usually labile tissues or what we call continuously dividing cells. And examples would include epithelium, such as the skin uh, squamous epithelium, stratified squamous epithelium uh, in the epidermis of the skin, as well as columnar lined mucosa, for example, that which is lining the gastrointestinal tract. Another example would be hematopoietic tissue, uh, such as that seen in the bone marrow. Now, these usually will regenerate because of the growth of stem cells. A second tissue type that is able to regenerate would be what we call stable tissues. And another name for this would be quiescent tissue. Examples would include liver as well as pancreas. And another example would be smooth muscle. So these tissues have a limited ability to regenerate and the mechanism by which this is done is a little bit different. It is usually through growth factors, such as transforming growth factor, as well as a hepatocyte growth factor in the liver, as well as cytokines. <clears throat> and you may be familiar with some of these, which were also, um, which you would have encountered in inflammation, such as tumor necrosis factor, TNF, and interleukin. So this is actually not strictly pure regeneration. Uh, there is some degree of regeneration of the parenchyma, but at the same time, there is also compensatory hyperplasia. Now, in repair, the tissue type is different from those uh, tissues that are seen in regeneration. So these usually involve tissues that are permanent. So these are, in effect, non-dividing tissues or non-dividing cells. And an example would be the heart muscle or cardiomyocytes, which is why after myocardial infarction, the heart actually heals by fibrosis rather than replacement of lost uh, muscle. So here we actually have uh, fibrous repair, uh, so patching of the tissue rather than regeneration. So in the next mind map, we will look at the process of fibrous repair.